What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Tops Finest Baseball 8-Box Case Break Pacing number 14 just sold out. So, here we go. All-card ship. I mean, he started off great. And honestly, he pitches well all the way up into, like, the fifth. And then most of the times, they keep him in and then kind of just gives up a lot of runs. But, I mean, he's still a young player, Rex. I mean, obviously... You know, he's, it's not like, it's not like Dodgers will be like, just ship the guy out. I mean, obviously, he, dude, he's still pretty young. I mean, so it's not like the Dodgers and Dodgers fans obviously want him out. But just like yesterday, he pitched five innings against the Cincinnati Reds, only gave the three runs, really. So it's not like I said, he's a problem. But again, like I said, it's obviously somebody I don't think the Dodgers want to give up. But if they really want... Arenado, I guess they might have to give him up. All right, guys, so finest baseball. Glad we got this done. Oh, sorry. I didn't read. I just heard the, I thought he was fucking up a lot. I didn't even read. Or effing up a lot, sorry. Pardon my language. Uh, before I even read the before he left. Oh, Joe Kelly. Well, I mean, yeah, probably. But either way, obviously, the fans still love him. But hopefully, like I said, I mean... I think, like you say, when, when sometimes to breath of fresh air to get traded, especially a, a place that, you know, he was loved a little bit here by the fans. And uh, like I said, I mean, obviously, I, I haven't been paying attention to, to be honest, but obviously the Dodgers know what he's capable of, so that's why they traded for him and, and the other players. So, like I said, hopefully he plays better with us. I mean, I think that's the hope, right? But, yeah, I mean, hopefully coming back to LA will get him rolling. But honestly, since the Dodgers, since he since he hasn't been on the Dodgers, I haven't really kept up with him, to be honest. And I don't really keep up with too many other teams, minus the Dodgers and Angels, probably just with Otani living in LA. But speaking of baseball, I, I know I had said the last couple of nights I kind of wanted to go see Ellie De La Cruz. But I decided I'm not going to go because I did not realize that next weekend the Dodgers are in San Diego. So I actually just got tickets to go see them at Petco Park. So out of all these years living here in SoCal, I've never been at Petco Park. So at least for a ball game. So definitely excited for that. Gonna go to the Sunday Night Baseball on Sunday at 4 o'clock. So that should be fun. Nice. So, so officially, none of them might be traded. Not even Strowman. Well, they must be in the same situation, right? We're going for it like the Angels. Sometimes you might. Sometimes it's just better to keep the players that you have. You know, 
Don't think too far ahead in the future of what you can get for them. Live in the now, the present. Not saying the Cubs wouldn't make any trades though, but maybe they make trades to improve the roster. Because you would have to think, Rex, since you watch them all the time, you would have to think that if they traded somehow Bellinger, Bellinger and, and Stroman, that they wouldn't be better, would they? Would they? Would they be? They would probably be worse, right? And then you're kind of just looking into the the next season more than you are looking to the season. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Luis Angel Acuna got traded to the Mets. He was the Ranger, right? I think he was. Isn't it crazy how the Mets might be sellers? I was reading reports today that maybe the Dodgers should try to inquire of getting Scherzer. And I think even... Uh, um, Verlander might even be on the trade block. That's wild. <laughs> that is crazy. first four guys so again some of these refractors like this one here Andres Yemenes is a uh, extended base short print so anything over a hundred basically starting at 10 101 and then Byron Buxton finest moments to the Minnesota Twins autograph Minnesota Twins is Alan Murdoch last spot mojo uh, in the uh, pack filler Yoshida colored at 300 Colas to 250. And look at that, Nick Prato for the Royals red. Or wait, no, that's the Kintsukori, right? The red one? It looks like it. Very nice right there for the Royals. Who has the Royals? But it always feels that way. Oh, John, nice. Sanga. And then Ryan Howard moments. Yeah, I know. Justin Merlander might make a, a home uh, a reunion back there in Houston, huh? Damn, that's wild. Just how crazy that... How crazy quickly the MLB uh, season landscape can change in a matter of some disappointing teams this year. All right, next box. We got Bo Naylor to 99, and then Ethan Small to 150. Milwaukee Brewers, Brian K. Let's 
CJ Abrams to 50. Nationals, Chris Butler. I know, it feels like a, just a kind of reunion type of year, right? How about, how about uh, the Cubs go, get, go trade for Chris Bryant? <laughs> Anthony Rizzo. Bring back the old crew. Drew Waters for Kansas City. Vinny. Although I think Chris Bryant's injured right now, so I don't think it would work. All right, Rafael Devers. For the Red Sox. And then we got Iga Rosario. For the Padres. Michael Conforto to 175. Brett Beatty. Trey Turner debuts. Oscar Gonzalez. I'm not sure what the contract specifics are, but I mean, if if Scherzer or Justin Verlander are willing to be traded, I mean, did they sign monster deals too? I'd assume that you can always uh, restructure it or, I don't know, I mean, eventually some of those guys may get cut and then get paid uh, a veteran minimum somewhere else and still get paid by the original team. With Richardson. I mean, obviously, I think those pitchers are a little bit older, right? So they might have gotten a shorter contract, but they got paid a lot, though. Tristan Casas, gold for the Red Sox. It's like, I don't know if that's a print line or just just a line going right through the card right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Just so that FYI. I don't know if that could be wiped off or that's just a big big print line right there on the card. So just so that FYI for the Red Sox and Gary. Wilson Contreras. Shane Beeps to 300, and then E. Guy Rosario, the Padres. Lola Pagrero to 250. Shaylen Weirs for the A's. And Adley Rutschman at 300. Nice one there for the Orioles and Gary. 7 at 300. And then Matthew Batten for the San Diego Padres. Ken Bob. Damn! That guy got paid. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, yeah, that's still a lot of money. I mean, yeah, 182 million is still a lot. Say 182. Yeah, it's still 26 mil a year. It's just wild to me then going and looking like how much a Scherzer get paid? Obviously, he's a pitcher and obviously a really good one, but. I mean, I guess if anything, we just think about it, Bryant eventually will get most of that money either playing through the contract or just when he gets cut. If he does get cut or traded, you know, the team will pay him probably yearly, annually.
What's up, Logan? Now that is a contract right there. <laughs> Dude probably got like 40 plus million a year. What is that, 43? 43, 44 million? Good lord. Yeah, 43.3, that's wild. And that's crazy because that's like a, only a three-year deal. Imagine like, you know, I mean, Altani's gonna get paid more than that probably, but you know, Altani's just just gonna look massive, right? It's gonna look like eight to ten years, five hundred million dollars or something crazy like that. Maybe even more. I don't know. I mean, this guy could ask for whatever he wants and he'll get it probably. But uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be wild. I mean, it's just to say hypothetically, like Otani does like sign a massive contract like that and you know he does have an amazing career and definitely everybody says worth the money i wonder if it's going to change the landscape for others because obviously there's going to come around another guy that's going to eventually break his record of money right there always is somebody right just like in the nfl you know lamar was the first and hurts and then now it's herbert then it's gonna be burl right so think about it right think of this like what if the next guy is just not even as good as Otani but just gets paid just as much it's just gonna feel like it's not even worth it you know so that's why if I'm Otani I'm just more thinking like I'm worth more than half a billion dollars right I don't know Logan I mean if Messi really wanted to or Mbappe really wanted to go to Saudi league they would have got Mbappe got offered basically one year a billion dollars <laughs> So I don't know if anyone's ever going to beat that. <laughs> so, unless Saudi League comes up with a baseball league and they sign Otani, then no. Otani's not going to get a billion dollar contract for a year. <laughs> I mean, it is real sports, Logan. It's just, it's the Saudi Soccer League. And it's professional. Ronaldo's loving his contract right now. Oh, Scherzer's made a shit ton of money through his career, for sure. I don't care where they got the money, Logan. Someone offered me that much money to play for their league, I don't care, I'm doing it. That's, that deal was so sweet for Mbappe that he could just play for them for one year after the taxes, which is only like one tax, which is the Saudi tax. He still gets like 770 something million dollars. And then he can, he's free to go. He's free to go to Real Madrid. Obviously Mbappe doesn't care for money because he already has a lot of money, but I mean, damn, that was a sweet deal.
But in the sense of Otani, yes, he probably might sign the biggest contract in sports, American sports history, probably. I mean, I think Mahomes is, was the most dished out at the time, but Otani, I think, will beat that. And Mahomes' contract now is looking so, so nice right now, the way other quarterbacks are getting paid. I mean, I get why people want the longer contracts because obviously it's just more assurance that you're going to basically get it all, especially in baseball. So obviously that's why sometimes some players aren't willing to sign a shorter deal and, you know, want that long-term money. So, you know, they're thinking about their future now, you know? But someone like Scherzer, obviously, at, at his age, can't really sign, like, a long-term deal, but still worth it. You know, what he got paid probably. For teams at least. Who was to pay him that much? But yeah, it seems like in most sports, I think now realistically most players I think the highest paid players are getting around forty five to fifty million dollars a year, so I know it's like that for basketball pretty much. Baseball is basically that much, or at least will soon be that much. I just think when it comes to like guaranteed money and and like the longevity of the contract is what's going to be the most amazing part of Otani's probably. All right, guys, last foe. Goldie. Castillo. And we got Bubba Thompson. 1099. Oh, two hit at two fifty. Gabriel Moreno to 175. Tony there. Jose Ramirez to 150 for the Guardians and then Jonathan Aranda. Refractor auto. Green is Dewey Ruiz for the Athletics. We got Ezekiel Duran to 100 for the Rangers. Javi Baez for Detroit. Nick Prato, orange to 25, rookie autograph for the Royals. Nice break for the Royals. Trey Turner for the Phillies, 250. Charlie Marte to 150 for the Mets. O'Neill Cruz yeah, to 99. 
Pete Alonzo. It's a 250. Insert and then Corey Seager to 75. Corey Seager made a lot of money too, didn't he with the Rangers? He got a massive contract. Oscar Gonzalez for the Guardians. Trey Turner. I feel like we're getting a lot of Trey Turner colors for the Phillies. Chris Butler. Collect the rainbow. Last box here, guys. Joey Manessi's to 99 for the Washington Nationals, Chris Butler. And that's Marcus Simeon. Extended base. All right, one more auto hiding in here somewhere, guys. Good luck. Pete Alonso to 250, and another Nick Prato. Jesus. We got like the three versions of Nick Prato. We got that. Where is it at? We got that like Kinsakori red one early on, right? Where's that one at? It's right over here. There we go. So we got that red one. And then that orange. And then that base one right now. Dang. It's wild. Oh wow, that doesn't even look that crazy anymore, but 10 years obviously, so. Still a lot of money dished out, I guess. So that's what, like 32 mil a year or so? Alrighty, you folks, and there you go, guys. So, again, obviously, we'll do a quick recap there. Manessis, Gonzalez, Marte, Reese, Aranda, Thompson, Batten, Rosario. Casas, gold was really nice. Um, uh, Gonzalez, Rosario, Waters, Small, and then of course Ryan Howard, Buxton, Prato, Simeon, Extended Base, and then Prato to 25. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for the finest baseball case break. Uh, again, we have Topps Chrome in store that we can do uh, next, guys. Thank you.